let's see what we get for Sagittarius. What are the messages for Sagittarius for this October? What do they need to know? Oh, Five of Wands. There's some kind of like fighting or arguing. I'm getting like petty energy. Someone's being petty or there's a lot of petty here. There's, a co there's some kind of competition. Someone wants to be the best. Maybe this is you. You want to be the best. I feel like this is a distraction though. I feel like there's another path. Like I feel like there's another route that you could be taking because for some of you, it feels like you need to compete to be the best or you need to be in this to be the best. I don't know, I'm getting something about like fashion or modeling. I'm getting that you can do something another way. There's another path being opened up for you this month. One with less drama. I don't know, these people are easy to see through, or there's something about these these energies are easier for you to see through this month. You can read someone's intentions, you can read someone's vibes, and it's like immediately they just want to fight, immediately they just want to argue, immediately they just want to like try to tear you down to build themselves up. There's another path. You don't have to put up with that. Whatever that is, that's bullshit. You don't have to put up with that. Eight of Cups, what did I say? There's another path. This could be a work thing, a school thing, a relationship thing. This could be anything. But you're like, I'm not putting up with that this month. I'm not putting up with it. I don't have time, energy, or whatever to deal with that. <laughs> okay? Eight of Cups. There's another path and you're seeing it. Whatever this is maybe something that you invest a lot of time into. But you see another path. You see another way out. You see a way out. Okay? And you're following that. And this is a good sign. Okay? The moon is watching you. That's what I'm getting. You could have Sag Moon. Okay, and then we have the King of Cups. And you're walking right into flow. <laughs> Period. You're walking right into things flowing for you. Things becoming much easier for you. I love it. With the King of Cups, like, watch the Scorpio reading too. The little mini Scorpio reading here. Because there will be more messages in there. But there's something about the King of Cups. I'm hearing I feel like falling in love. So there's something about cuffing season too. Okay. You could be walking away from one relationship and into somebody meant for you. I don't know. It's not a rebound situation. It's just like, I'm unhappy here. And then you happen to meet somebody who is like literally perfect for you. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing for someone. Okay. I know it's not romantic and love for everybody, but it's like a job that's perfect for you. Or it's like a home that's perfect for you. It's literally something that's perfect for you because you're listening to your intuition. And the universe is going to reward you for listening to your intuition always because that's you validating yourself. So I'm getting that there's something about you not needing other people's validation or you not seeking out validation this month. You kind of giving validation to yourself. And if someone gives you bad vibes or if someone gives you the ick or someone makes you like cringe instantly, there's something about that where you're just like, I know that that's a red flag for me. I know that it's not worth my time or my energy. That's what I'm getting. What else please for Sag this month? Yeah, I'm getting it's some relationship. It could be any kind of relationship, friend, family, love. It's just like, it's not working. There's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of competition here. Somebody wants to prove that they're the boss or somebody wants to prove that they're in charge here. Somebody wants to assert their dominance and it's their ego. And I'm getting that you're not, you're just not giving into that anymore. And then who's left for them to fight? Who's left for them to argue with? Themselves, if it's a group of people, because the only thing they have in common is hating on you. Or themselves. Because you're not giving back. You're not fighting back. Yeah. So then they really got to deal with their own shit. Okay. And the tower. Yeah. This whole month kind of feels like a tower. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. It's not funny when you're going through it, but it is funny on the other side, Sag. So I am seeing there's a tower here, and you're the one causing it. You're causing your own tower, which is a good thing, because you recognize that whatever this is, is not fulfilling. It's not for you, long term. It's not really what you want. It doesn't make you feel like this King of Cups energy, regardless of your gender. 
And this person or these people don't make you feel like they're the king of cups for you. Which is somebody who values you. Somebody who listens to you. Somebody who cares about you. You don't feel like they care. Yeah, and you're right. They care about themselves. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit is spilling the tea. But I also see the queen of pentacles here and the king of cups. So whatever you're walking into, you're about to be so obsessed with. It's about to just like take over your life. You could have Gemini in your chart. I'm hearing something about a life-changing experience or a life-changing moment. And that's significant for you this month. That was a message for Gemini too. So if you have Gemini placements, that message is for you. That are significant Gemini placements. You know, like Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Okay. But that's what I'm seeing for you. Sad. Before we dive too much into that, I'm going to move on to Capricorn. So thank you, Saj, for being here.